In 1955, Earl Isaac and Richard Singleton asked themselves, how can we sort data efficiently in the scenario when we know something about the data distribution? Their ideas laid the groundwork for bucket sort, an algorithm that is useful when the distribution of data to be sorted is known in advance. This video will describe the properties of bucket sort and explain how it works with a Python implementation. Bucket sort is a distribution sort algorithm that works in three stages. First, there is a scatter operation that distributes keys to buckets. Second, there is a sort operation that sorts keys within these buckets. Third, there is a gather operation that gathers the sorted keys back in order to produce a sorted result. The algorithm is particularly effective when the user has some knowledge of the key distribution in advance, so that the buckets can be designed such that they each catch approximately the same number of keys. The key idea behind the algorithm was introduced by Earl Isaac and Richard Singleton, after whom the Singleton Bound is named, in their 1955 joint paper, Sorting by Address Calculation. From the perspective of complexity, when assuming uniformly distributed keys, the runtime of bucket sort for n keys when using b buckets is big theta of n plus n squared over b plus b in the average case and big theta of n squared plus b for the worst case in which all keys fall into the same bucket. In addition to the big theta of n cost of storing the original items, there is a further cost of big theta of n plus b required to hold the buckets used for sorting. In typical usage, we choose the number of buckets to approximately match the number of keys. This has the appealing benefit of giving us average case complexity that is linear in the number of keys. Now let's walk through how bucket sort can be implemented in Python. Our bucket sort function takes in a list to be sorted, a consisting of keys that fall in the half open interval between zero and one. In our implementation, we will set the number of buckets to be equal to the number of keys, and we initialize this many empty buckets. Next, we perform our scatter operation by looping over each key in A and appending it to the bucket in the position computed by taking the floor of the product of the number of the buckets and the key. Then, we loop over the buckets and apply insertion sort to each of them in order. Finally, we perform the gather operation by combining the contents of the sorted buckets and returning the result. We'll take a look at this function in action on an example array of five elements. We call our function and compute the number of buckets, which here is five, the length of A. Next, we initialize our list of empty buckets. We then come to our scatter operation, where we start from the zeroth key in A and append it to the corresponding bucket, which in this case is at index zero. We go to the next key in A and send it to the appropriate bucket, which here is the bucket with index two. We continue this process for each key in A, sending the keys to their respective buckets. We next move to the loop over the buckets. Starting from the zeroth bucket, we call insertion sort to sort its contents. We move to the next bucket, which is empty, so our call to insertion sort has no effect. We continue along the collection of buckets until the contents in each bucket have been sorted. Finally, we perform our gather by concatenating the contents of each bucket together in order. And we are done. We now turn to the question of the runtime complexity of bucket sort. We'll examine the runtime for the average case scenario when the number of keys, n, is equal to the number of buckets, b. The scatter and gather operations both involve simple for loops over the keys and buckets, and so each of these is big theta of n. The remaining cost of bucket sort stems from calling insertion sort on the n buckets. Let's use mi to denote the number of keys in bucket i. Across the n buckets, the mi's will sum to n, since there are n keys in total. Since the keys are uniformly distributed, mi has a binomial distribution where the probability of falling in bucket i is 1 over n. The expected value of mi is therefore n times 1 over n, which is n. The variance of mi is 1 minus 1 over n. Now, the cost of cooling insertion sort, which has quadratic complexity, is the sum over each of the n buckets of big O of mi squared. To work out the runtime cost for the average case, 
we take the expectation of this sum with respect to the key distribution, which we can simplify thanks to the linearity of the expectation operator. At this point, we recall that we can write the variance of mi as the expectation of mi squared minus the squared expectation of mi. We can rearrange this to get an expression for the expectation of mi squared, which, thanks to our earlier comments, gives 1 minus 1 over n plus 1, which equals 2 minus 1 over n. So we see that the expected cost of the n calls to insertion sort is the sum over n terms of big O of 2 minus 1 over n, which is big O of n. Combining this with the scatter and gather costs, we can see that the runtime for the average case of bucket sort is big theta of n. The worst case input occurs when all keys fall in the same bucket in an unfavorable order. Then the algorithm essentially degrades to insertion sort with a complexity of big theta of n squared. One surprisingly easy improvement described by Corwin and Loger to accelerate bucket sort is to switch the execution order of the algorithm. In conventional bucket sort, we perform a scatter, sort each bucket, then gather the results. In one variation of bucket sort, we instead perform a scatter, then gather back the results, then call insertion sort on the full array. This can be faster because in the second case, the insertion sort can sometimes benefit from greater cache friendliness once the gather has moved everything approximately into order in a large array. However, whether this helps in practice depends on the details of the implementation and hardware used for the sort. In the video description, you can find links to Python code to implement bucket sort, slides, and references. I hope you have a wonderful day.